Hello beautiful souls, it's Karen here with a, another reading. This is Divine Masculine versus Divine Feminine. <clears throat> so we're going to check in on some energies, why you may have been ghosted by this person, what's going on with them, how they see this connection, how they see you. So we're going to start off with the masculine energies and then we're going to do the feminine energies. So I want to thank everyone for watching, liking, sharing and subscribing my videos. Um, once I get to 2,000 subscribers, there will be a giveaway of two decks and two free readings. So we've got finger pointing, fixated, trying to find the real me, toxic female, abuse, intoxicated, mirroring, lost in darkness, and toxic friends. So a lot of toxicity toxicity around the masculine here so we've got finger pointing here <clears throat> i feel this is about people around him actually um making judgments on him and making him feel that he's making wrong decisions and things like that that's what i'm thinking the sort of group he's in the family group the work group that he's in i feel very much uh, very judgmental about other people and he takes notice of their opinions. <clears throat> so let's see the energy. We've got two cups here. So he could have been feeling this energy towards his feminine. But I feel these other people around him dissuaded him in some way. Um, from, you know, really doing anything about it. Or actually wanting to do anything about it. Okay. Um because they were making his decisions for him and he allowed that to happen. And then we've got fixated, four of wands. So he could have been fixated on his feminine very much so. I'm wanting this four of wands, which is a twin flame card, isn't it? Wanting very much that um, stability, wanting very much this connection, this commitment. Okay, but other people influenced him. Trying to find the real me. Yeah, he wasn't in touch with who he was. He was very blurry about who he actually was and who he is. And because he wasn't making his own decisions, he allowed other people to sway him. And he wasn't being his authentic self. Yeah, we got three of swords. So he was heartbroken. He was very heartbroken. You know, he could have been heartbroken when you met him over in a previous situation or well, this could be about love in general. You know, it really did change him. And he was trying to find who he is, who he is now. We got toxic female. I'm very much picking up that that was a past partner. Okay, who's very toxic in his life. It's somebody that misled him, I feel. Um, made out that this was a love connection. And led him up the garden path. I feel it was... It was just about finances and status for this person. And it gave the masculine the wrong image. Yeah, four of coins. He's very much having to cling on to what he had, feeling that he had to cling on to whatever he had, you know, feeling that sense of lack. This person never made him feel that he was good enough, okay, or that he had enough for them. We've got abuse here, so this could have been abuse, you know, emotional abuse in this connection um, that he was in. Obviously, this is a general reading, so take what resonates. But there could have been some sort of emotional abuse here or financial abuse. We've got Queen of Swords. So the person in his um, former life could possibly have been in this sort of energy. You know, I'm not saying that all air signs are in that energy of, of hardness or being a bitch, or, you know, withdrawing emotions. But the energy I'm picking up of this person was not very loving. She was very harsh. She could have been a controlling sort of person, and he felt very much under her thumb, and he felt he had to do what she asked, or there would be hell to pay, basically. So not a very nice way to live at all. Um, and it's no wonder that some masculines are fearful of, of getting into a relationship if that's their experience of it. Then we got intoxicated. That could be intoxicated with drink or drugs. 
because of the darkness they were in or it could be that they felt intoxicated with the feminine with the energy of the feminine got nine of swords i feel it was because of the life they were leading you know because of what they were going through they turned to drink or drugs to numb their feelings to numb how they were you know what sort of life they had really and we've got mirror in here we've got six of coins so it's about finding that balance, isn't it, and a connection. You know, that balance between give and take, okay? And he's working on that, I feel, because of past experiences. Maybe he wasn't very giving in this connection because, you know, of what had happened before. And then we got lost in darkness. King of Coins. So I think his former partner very much saw him as a money-making machine, basically, Somebody that was there to just provide for them while they sat on their ass, and they had, you know, they were the breadwinners, and they had to bring in a certain amount of money. They had to live a certain standard for this person, okay. And then we got toxic friends. So I don't think his friends were much help to him either. Again, as I said, I think these friends were people that you know, were jealous of him and his status maybe and also steered him in the wrong direction. They weren't true friends. They were very judgmental people. We've got magician here. So he's working on coming out of that energy of like being trapped, being stuck by the judgments and thoughts of others. He needs to stand up in his own power. So he's taking his power back with the magician He's starting to manifest what it is he truly desires, okay, for himself and his life. So let's get another message. We've got Queen of Coins. So that could be the feminine. You could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You're someone that's independent, somebody that's nurturing, kind-hearted. He sees his feminine in that energy anyway. Get another message. He's feeling romantic towards his feminine right now, okay? We've got the Knight of Cups here. He wants to charge in and offer you his love. He wants justice for himself and you. He wants justice. He wants that victory and success. He wants that happy ever after, that emotional fulfillment and commitment because you are the wish fulfillment. And the Ten of Cups, he wants that love, that love connection. So, you know, this is what he's wanting. Okay. So what other energies have we got here? Yeah, we've got completion. So he's coming out of that bad cycle he's been in. He's coming out of that dark cycle he's been in. Okay. That feeling of grief. We've got growth. He's, he's been doing the work. He's been growing spiritually mentally and emotionally i feel and he's he wants to be of service in the world in some way he wants to find the joy and happiness in his life he's had a lot of dark times you can see that he wants to be creative to you know get back into his creativity in whatever way that is because in the past he felt overwhelmed unmotivated he was under a lot of pressure He's become more self-aware and he's taking time to reflect on what he wants to do moving forward. And he's mirroring the feminine. He's doing that work on himself with self-love, self-esteem. Because he's had heartbreak. We had that come up twice now. Okay, he's had heartbreak, heartache in life. It's been difficult for him. And this karmic, relation, uh, karmic relationship he was in was very much toxic. And he had a lot of lessons to learn and he's putting that behind him now. Yeah, he's suffered from a lot of grief and loss. And he's got to make a decision of which way to go. He's awakening to spirit, okay? He's awakening to his intuition, his higher self and guidance right now. And he's doing some inner work. He's doing meditation. He's doing healing work here. So he's he's going gone through a lot, okay? He's gone through a lot. So what does he want to say to his feminine? I only want two things in life. Everything that makes you happy and nothing that makes you suffer. I love you always and forever. 
I haven't apologised because I don't feel deserving of your forgiveness. I haven't been able to forgive myself for how I treated you. So he's still working on himself. I like so many things about you. I don't even know how to tell you that I love everything about you. I think you were made for me and I was made for you. You're always on my mind and in my heart. Yes, that's you, always and forever. I want us to build trust and work on a foundation of friendships before we have a romantic sexual relationship. So that's what we saw with the Four of Swords. He wants to build that foundation moving forward, okay? So what else does he want to say? Yeah, he wants that intimacy. He wants to be close to his feminine, mentally, emotionally, physically, sexually, in all ways. He wants to love with abandon, to embrace love. And he wants to build that foundation, you know, and allow the connection to blossom and grow. And he has strong passions for his feminine. You know, he's he gets swept away in those feelings. And he loves the sexuality of his feminine. He loves her sexy feelings and thoughts and actions with him so i'm just going to get some messages of guidance and then we'll do the feminine messages so overall the, the masculine has been through a lot okay so he's really taking that time to heal himself right now and get into a bad place but it does look like for a lot of you the masculines do want to come forward and start again and build a firm foundation this time in this connection so just take what resonates. Obviously, this is a general reading. So let's get some guidance. So we've got legal matters and contracts. You may have some legal matters to tie up. It's proposal here. It could it may not be a marriage proposal, but it may be a proposal, as we saw in the cards, for things to change, for things to go forward. Because he's going through some spiritual growth right now. And he's get, getting creatively inspired. So beautiful messages there. So we're now going to do the feminine. I'm going to clear the cards and we'll do the feminine energy. Hello, here we are with the feminine energies. So we've got intimidated, heart guarded, racial challenges, sneaking away, healing, consumed by darkness, seeking solace, too captivated by you and cold communication so we're going to clarify these with the tarot so intimidated i feel this could be that some of the feminines could have felt intimidated by the masculine maybe they had a different social standing to you a different level of profession um there was something that intimidated you about their success maybe you didn't feel that you were on the same level maybe Nice oh, intimidated here. We've got high priestess. So I do feel that the feminines have gone within about this. Okay, they are more of a spiritual person in some cases. The feminines are very spiritual, very into their spiritual development, their growth, um, more than uh, 3D success. And your masculine could have been more in the 3D success, like with the house, the car, the job, whereas the feminines maybe not focus on that so much. And we're in a different place of success. Okay, so although they felt intimidated by the masculine's 3D success, they, in their own way, were successful in their spiritual development. A lot of you feminines were a lot further along the path than the masculines with regard to your spiritual selves and we've got heart guarded and again a lot of the feminines like the masculines have had their heart broken before you could have been in difficult relationships before where your heart was broken difficult relationships where you closed off your heart because you were scared to love again we've got seven of swords yeah there could have been deceit and lies in your life from previous partners so you felt guarded, you felt you had to guard your heart. We've got racial challenges. Maybe you were from different ethnicities, different uh, countries, different cultures. And again, that caused a challenge in this connection. We've got Queen of Cups here. So I feel the feminine was very loving. She had the love, although her heart was guarded. 
she was very loving and giving to the masculine but because of the differences that could have caused a strain between you both I feel we've got sneaking away I feel some of the feminines did sneak away from the masculines you may have detached from your masculines okay because of your heart being guarded because you didn't see reciprocation maybe from them you just snuck away you know you just went away you just didn't explain yourselves you just cut ties but this caused yourself heartbreak here with the three of swords you caused yourself your own heartbreak here we've got healing so you've been going through healing okay there's healing been needed on both sides of these connection and we've got the six of swords so you're wanting to leave the past behind you want to leave those difficult times behind and go into much smoother waters moving forward much calmer place and consumed by darkness you could have been going through dark night of the soul here we've got two of coins so indecision maybe could have caused you to go within you know to look at your shadow side the two sides of the coin basically you know the dark and the light okay and the the masculine and feminine energies we've got seeking solace we've got two of swords and again it's making that decision which choice do you make you know do you stay connected to your masculine or do you go down a different path and look for love somewhere else because you want in solace somewhere you want somebody to love you you want that connection and we've got two captivated by you you could have felt overwhelmed by the masculine seven of cups yeah you could he could have been on your mind constantly it could have been dreaming about him fantasizing about him to the fact that it took over your mind is what it felt like and then we got cold communication so what is cold communication here got ace of coins so you were wanting some sort of offer um but it didn't materialize at the time you know the, the communication went cold and it could have been one or both of you disconnected we saw that some of the feminines did disconnect here because that offer wasn't on the table because things weren't shifting and the communication went cold you know you've been in a lack of communication ever since for some of you We've got four of swords. So yeah, you've been going through that healing phase, giving yourself that time to heal your heart, to heal yourself. But you're, you've got love here. You've got love in your heart for yourself and you've got love to offer. You've got a big cup of love here. And you want the beginning of a new cycle. You want to go into a new, brand new cycle here. That new beginning. Because you felt burdened, you know, you've you've been under a lot of pressure like the masculine was as well. Okay, but the nine, you're coming out of that cycle into a new beginning. And you're working on projects. You've got some project or some work project you're focusing on right now. And your attention is on that. But again, you're wanting that four of one stability. You're wanting that, you know, firm foundation, that commitment moving forward. Is what you're wanting with your masculine. We've 
You've got King of Wands, so you're wanting your masculine to be that passionate man, that man that takes action, that man, and you want to be his Queen of Wands. So <laughs> we've got counterparts here, so you're wanting that moving forward. You want to both be in that passionate, and you're in the Empress energy. And again, reconciliation here. Reconciliation for you both. But it's all about divine timing. So you are mirroring each other there. So what other energies is the feminine in? You could have had guilt, maybe because some of you did ghost or block your masculine. You feel a bit guilty about that, maybe. But you've been working on your own self-worth, your self-esteem. You've been focusing on yourself and what you need to do for yourself. And you've been very creative. You've had lots of creative projects. projects. Your sacral chakra has been on fire here. And you're very much in your feminine energy. You're nurturing and loving yourself right now. You're feeling abundant, fulfilled, positive, hopeful. And some of you could be pregnant, of course, as well. And you want to pass on your knowledge, you know, to other people. And you're very much in touch with Earth, your mother nature and the environment and animals. You're feeling quite grounded right now. So what about the other energies? So, yeah, you were broken hearted because your masculine wasn't ready to open up about his feelings. You were missing him. It went quiet. You didn't know what was going on. And you felt it was the same old, same old. If you'd agreed to be friends, there was still silence between you. And you've been seeing signs everywhere, messages on car number plates, um, songs, messages in nature. You know, you're bombarded with signs and you've got a deep understanding now and your heart is opening. And there's been challenges in your life, you know, family issues, finances. Some of you have been through dark night of the soul right now, which again is mirroring the masculine energy. But the silence is so painful and the lack of communication, you find it very painful. So what does the feminine want to say to a masculine? My wish is to please you, make you feel so good, make you happy, make me happy. I know I could. Cover me with kisses from my head to my toes. Show me you miss this, because this I know. At night I wish you were here with me, laying by my side. I want to be close to you, if only for one night. Love hurts, it's hard to keep it to myself. My feelings for you I don't know, if you know. My soul knows your soul for so long, so long ago. It's like we always have met somewhere in time. This connection is never ending. So what else does she want to say? She wants to dress sexy for <laughs> a masculine and have really, you know, tease him and tantalise him. She sees her masculine as someone who's strong, muscular, a leader. She wants to role play with her masculine. She, she wants that passion again. She's desiring and wanting her masculine. She feels intense, last, strong sexual desire for a masculine. So, you know, on both sides, there's this intense sexual desire, but it's love, you know, there's love there. So what's a guidance? And then we're going to get some timings. So guidance, please, for the feminine. Well, confirmation that this is a twin flame connection. You want that intimacy. It's the love of a lifetime. Focus on prayer. And it might start again as friendship. So beautiful messages there. So we're going to get some timings to see what might happen next in this connection. Obviously this is a general reading. So just take what resonates for you. So, Spirit, give us some timings and some scenarios of what might happen next in this connection.
got May, September, Candlelight Dinner, Surprise Engagement, Cocktails, Day at a Museum, December, Autumn and March. So there are just some general timings and um, might resonate for some of you hopefully. So there are your messages for today. So thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, comment and I will see you in my next video. Many blessings, lots of love. Take care.